In this module, you're supposed to be reading Why Boys Fail by Richard Whitmire. And in the first couple of chapters, he discusses the achievement data. So it gives you some statistics about boys and achievement. Um, and then he goes into maybe some potential areas for improvement. So for example, he talks about reading um, and maybe how we're not tackling that quite right and then writing. And then in chapter five, he calls it the blame game. So he's looking at some various aspects of school culture and school structure that may um, contribute to the idea of why boys struggle sometimes in school more often than girls. So for your assignment in this module, you're going to be tackling one of those problems a little bit further. And so again, he talks about several things. He talks about homework, for example. He talks about the structure of schooling. He talks about how maybe schools are more feminized. Um, he talks about how testing may, may also be the culprit um, so he talks about various aspects um, and you're going to choose one of those topics and you're going to do a little bit more research um, on that particular topic. So what I wanted to do now was to be able to give you some guidance and direction on how to find exactly what you're looking for. So let's take the topic of homework. If I typed in Google just homework and boys, what pops up may not be exactly what I'm looking for. So understanding your child, boys and homework, that may work, but tips to help boys succeed, that's not really what I'm looking for. So what I'm looking for is information about does homework actually impede a boy's ability to achieve at school or does it not? Um, is, do we really have a feminized culture in school? And if we do, is that really um, impeding boys' ability to achieve or not? So what you need to do in the search engine is instead of just saying like homework and boys, um, what we want to be is more specific. So what we're looking for is homework effects on student achievement by gender. Because what we may find is that maybe homework's not really good for anyone, um, regardless of gender, or maybe it is more beneficial for one gender over the next. Um, but that, that's kind of what we're tackling is not necessarily what tips are, but does this problem really exist? Is achievement poor for boys because of homework or the structure of homework or the late work policies than it is for females? So when you're looking at these articles, it pulls up a little bit different than what we saw in the last one. And so we need to find one that's specifically talking about gender differences in homework. And so here's an article that may work. Again, you'll have to peruse the articles and figure out what works and what doesn't. One of the things I like about this article is one, it has the abstract and it's clear who the authors are. Um, and it's published in a journal, which is very good. So when you're looking for resources, you wanna make sure that the resources that you're using are credible. If you can't find an author of something that's been written, you can't find like a reference page, that's a little bit more questionable than if you can clearly see an author, clearly see the references, that's a more credible source. So I'm okay with you looking at websites. I'm okay with you even looking at some blogs as long as the blogs are from credible sources. So credible meaning these people have researched, they are practitioners in their field. It's not just some blow schmo, you know, who's writing up a blog but has never actually interacted with education in any way. So just be careful on which resources that you're using. Um, but when you're typing up inside your search engine, just make sure that you're really specific with your terms so that you're finding exactly what you need and you're not spending all your time just trying to hunt down the right articles. So if you have any questions or you get stuck, um, just like any other time, make sure you email or you can join me in one of my office hours.